So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you the literal biggest cheat code in FIFA 19 career mode. What has been discovered in this video is going to change your career mode saves forever. That might be moderately dramatic, but it's still going to be a game changer for a lot of you guys. Now, this video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. want to say a massive thank you to them for that one uh, and obviously getting the early FIFA 19 career mode content. And I'm all about giving you tips, right, when it comes to these videos. This is the ultimate one. So if you go on to enjoy it, slap a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then feel free to subscribe. It's that big red button under the video and it really, really helps me out if you go ahead and do that. Now, you may have gathered from the players in the background, we're going to be talking about release clauses today. These are disgraceful. This is the cheat code of FIFA 19 career mode. Release clauses are ridiculous. And, and they've made it even more overpowered because you can now actually search for them. You can search for players based on the release clauses. We had 88 rated Paulinho, release clause, eight and a half million pounds, I think it was. Vinicius Jr., 92 overall, his value is 96 million, his release clause is 41 and a half. The AI just don't change the release clauses. They don't offer these new young players new contracts. So they continue to have the release clause they had at the start of the game. Jovan Cabral here, 86 rated, you could get him for 18 point four million pounds his true valuation is about four times as much as that and there's so so many players in every single career mode save that have this i will give you a word of warning it is completely random as to who gets the release clauses at the start of every career mode save as far as i'm aware but the release clauses are always the same for each player that have them so vinicius jr will always have a release clause of 41 and a half million pounds if he is randomly chosen to have one roughly 50 percent of young players will have them so all you've got to do is wait a couple of seasons for them to outgrow that potential or outgrow their release clause uh, with their current valuation and you're golden Carlos Soler here 42 and a half million pounds it's only six million below what is his valuation but obviously the club will uh, will ask for a hell of a lot more than that the valuation that you see on the left hand side is maybe two-thirds of what the team will actually bid for Abdullah Darbo here has a release clause of 1.7 million pounds and his valuation is 25 mil. He's, you could get an 82 rated player who's 24 as well. So he's probably going to grow to about 85 or 86 for 1.7 million pounds. Do you see how broken this actually is? This is ridiculous. It's a game changer. And there's so many young players. I mean, I don't think we're... I'm not even sure we're halfway through the list of players I'm showing in, in the background. We've had, what, Issa Diop there. We had Danny Chebayos and Memphis Depay earlier. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. wan, -Bissaka. wan even joined another team. He's joined RB Leipzig in this save, and he still has a ridiculously low release clause that's less than half of what you're going to pay for him if you were to try and negotiate this. It's absolutely broken. It's completely overpowered, and as I mentioned, you can search for players based on release clauses. So if you get two seasons into your career mode and you need a player just literally just search for, search for players between the age of like 17 and 24 who have release clauses and the likelihood is their release clauses are going to be about 10 million above what they're actually worth ezekiel barco here his valuation is between three and four times higher than his release clauses it's disgraceful. Getting an 88 rated player for 22 mil. And it works on a lower level as well. We've got Lars Lucas Mai here, who's a relatively mid potential Bayern Munich centre back. 79 rated, release clause of 2 million pounds. It's just. Again, I can't stress it enough. It's completely, completely broken. Again, it is random as to the players that are chosen, but all of these players here, this is the, this is the exact same save. So all of the players I'm showing you are in the same career mode save. You can see them all on the shortlist at the same time. They're all in the same save. So what, we've gone through maybe 15, 20 players at least at this point already, and we're still not done. There's still about another minute's worth at least of players to come up. Kangin Lee here, another hidden gem from Valencia. Valuation of between, what, 40 and 50 mil, release clause of 8.4. Arthur, the release clause doesn't look too different from his valuation, but Barca are going to ask for a lot more. The valuation and then the actual amount you have to pay are very, very different. You can see the CEO there reckons you're bidding between 88 and 100 and something mil, 120 mil. You can get him for 40. Malcolm, 90 rated, release clause of 72. If you were to try and negotiate that, you'd be offering between 91 and probably the thick end of 130 million. You're still probably buying him for half as much as what Barca should ask for him. 
And as I mentioned, it never gets fixed as the career mode save goes on. So I would highly recommend at the start of your career mode saves, getting a shortlist together of young high potential players who have release clauses. Even if they're bought at some point during the career mode save, they'll probably end up with another release clause. And even if they don't, there'll be plenty of alternatives that you can go for. But you just gotta be patient. Give it two, three, maybe even the seasons, but probably two. And you can go in for these guys and save yourself a hell of a lot of money. In a second, I'm gonna calculate just how much money you could save if you bought all of these players on this shortlist with release clauses compared to how much the CEO reckons at this point you'd have to pay for them. As we continue there, you can see Lorente and now also Pape Abu Cisse from Mines, another 82 rated centre back. You could get him for about £8 million less than negotiations. On a level, this is absolutely ridiculous. Some of the best wonder kids on this game in your career mode saves will have stupidly low release clauses. Vinicius Jr. you've seen, Arthur you've seen, Malcolm you've seen, and then also some of the hidden gems like Abdullah Darbo, who we're completing a deal for there. £1.7 million for an 82 rated player. It's quite an extreme, uh, you know, sort of example, but there are those out there. There was him, there was Lars Lucas Mai, Kangin Lee was 84 rated, Paulinho here, 86. He even has a potential to grow by a further two. So you're getting, what, an 88 player or an 88 potential player for eight million pounds is completely overpowered it's completely broken and that's why i'm here to tell you that it is a complete game changer it is the cheat code of this fifa there's been plenty in the past that would make things op but this is absolutely ridiculous and as i said before it's so much more overpowered because you can literally search for players with release clauses if you go to the top right of the screen as you saw a moment ago there instead of scrolling to transfer listed or free agents or loan listed you can go across to release clauses and you can do it by league if you want to you can literally search for any player that has a release clause in the database in your career mode save you can see here we're going through goalkeepers and every single goalkeeper in this career mode save with a release clause will come up and then you can add them to the shortlist and then you know obviously get them for cheaper than their valuation is it's it's mind-blowing it's absolutely mind-blowing so what I'm doing in this video at this point is putting a team together of just release clause players just to show you the extent of the talent that you can get on the cheap with these release clauses so in a second you'll see the team that I've put together right now we're just we're gonna quickly do the maths all right ladies and gentlemen we're just gonna quickly do the mathematics of this situation so with the release clauses all these players I think I bought a total of I think well there was a total of like 25 players in the video as you can see all the contracts offers have been accepted now you don't have to negotiate with the teams 508.8 million pounds is what we spent in this experiment in this video showing this off using the release clauses so even you know it sounds like a lot it's half a billion but when you think about it that's what 25 extremely good players extremely good potential players and extremely high rated players some of them would cost you 150 mil on their own venetius jr you're looking at about 180 mil so we bought that entire team for 500 if you were to use the lower bound of their valuation that the ceo gives you you'd be spending 941.7 and if you use the upper bound you'd be spending 1.347 billion so the the lower boundary you've just saved yourself 432 million pounds and at the upper boundary you've just saved yourself 838 million pounds that puts it into perspective as to how broken this entire situation is. And this is the team. This is the team that you can build with this. The goalkeeper, I will admit, is no different. It's still Alisson. I use Liverpool for this experiment, but I mean, there weren't many goalkeepers. That's one thing I would say about this. There doesn't seem to be many goalkeepers. I don't know whether I just got unlucky, but there was like literally no high potential goalkeepers. Hey, just buy one. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to always use this, but the defense there, 82 rated Cissé, 85 rated Nanon, 83 rated Wambasaka, midfield, 90 rated Arthur, 87 rated Lorente, 86 Cabral, 87 Soler, 90 Malcolm and 88 Barco, and up front, 92 rated Vinicius Jr. And the bench is sick as well. 86 rated Memphis Depay, who was 87 at the time we negotiated, but clearly he went down by one. Danny Ceballos, 86, 87 sorry, rated from Real Madrid. Angel Correa, 85. Zadas from Valencia, 85. Darbo, 82. Paulinho, 86. And Dario Marezic, 82. That's just the starting 11 and bench. You saw plenty of other players included that we had a look at that you could also get. It's unreal. It's unreal. An entire starting 11 and bench of that quality for £500 million is absolutely 
ridiculous. And you can do it over time. You don't have to do it in one go like I did. You could sign half the players in the first season and half the players in the second season or half the f players in the, the, the second season and half the players in the third. Whatever you want to do, wait for them to outgrow their valuations and just go in for them. Be patient because this isn't something that other AI teams tend to utilize. But I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope you take away the fact that this is completely overpowered and completely broken in career mode. If you did and you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. And if you're looking forward to future content on the channel, then make sure to subscribe. It's that big red button under the video and it massively, massively helps me out. Uh, unreal. 800 million pounds you're spend you're, you're saving, sorry, is just utterly ridiculous. My mind hurts. I'm sure your minds are blown as well. So we're going to leave it at that. It's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.